Pittsburgh are rolling down that eastern seaboard. When it comes to road songs, the 1960s was the peak era. Most road songs of that time were about searching for some kind of truth, or maybe just hitting the road, getting away, leaving the nine to five behind, or in many cases, escaping the law. One song from that era was about having a real job on the road, truck driving, and at the same time being weary of that job. It was called Six Days on the Road, a song that told the story of a weary, long-haul truck driver at the end of a cross-country run. And while some other road songs mentioned recreational drug use, this one addressed a more practical drug use. The singer, presumably a big and burly man, because truck driving at that time was very physical, keeps popping little white pills in order to stay awake behind the wheel. The song was sung by a real-life big man with an equally big voice. That man, the defining voice of a brand new music genre called truck driving music was Dave Dudley from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, better known to the world as the king of truck driving music. Welcome to Wisconsinology on Music, a collaboration with 91.1 The Avenue and Wisconsinology. I'm your host, Frank Anderson. Six Days on the Road was an across-the-charts hit for Dave Dudley in 1963. It kicked off the truck driving genre, sold over two million copies, and in years to come would be recorded by over 200 different artists. Dave Dudley was born David Darwin Padrushka in 1928 in Spencer, Wisconsin. He was raised in nearby Stevens Point. He wanted to become a professional baseball player, but that dream ended with injuries. In 1952, he turned his ambition toward music. He became a radio DJ by day and at night fronted numerous bands. The Dave Dudley Trio, Dave Dudley and the Rodeo Riders, and the Dave Dudley Country Caravan. He could be found performing in nightclubs across the upper Midwest, many in northeast Wisconsin. His favorite venues being Appleton, Sheboygan, Manitowoc, and Green Bay. Six Days on the Road, recorded in Minneapolis and produced by legitimate hitmaker Shelby Singleton, changed his life. He was suddenly a major country music star and a member of the Grand Old Opry. In Nashville, he was viewed as a lovable Paul Bunyan kind of oddity, a big man with a big voice from the big north country where tall pines grow. In a 1974 interview, Dave Dudley said, I'm a normal human being. I drink, I smoke, I swear, I get drunk, and I laugh a lot. His career spanned four decades. He sold a lot of records and made enough money to quietly retire. He was living in tiny Danbury, Wisconsin, in Burnett County, near the St. Croix River, when he passed away in 2003. It was winter. He spent a pleasant evening at a supper club, a night with good friends, storytelling, laughter, beers, bar dice, and smokes. After calling it a night, he walked out to the parking lot, stepped into his brand new pickup truck, turned on the ignition, and died. Six Days on the Road lives on. Of all the cover versions, not a single one matches the vocal conviction and power of the original. Here's to you, Dave Dudley, wherever you may be, and hopefully it's in that great supper club in the sky. You've been listening to Wisconsinology on Music. For 91.1 The Avenue and Wisconsinology, I'm Frank Anderson. Wisconsinology on Music is presented by Hyde Music. 
Hyde Music is your community musical instrument store, proudly supporting live music, music lessons, and music education, with additional support provided by a grant from the Bright Idea Fund from the Community Foundation for the Fox Valley Region.